This is my favorite. So I got one line right here. Here's a jig, typical jig that you use for, for, for fishing, for large mouth fishing or small mouth. You take your line. I was going to use the rose, but I'm like, this is just going to make it pretty simple. So you grab your line, you're going to go through the loop of whatever lure that is a crankbait, a jig, anything. They all have a loop tied to it. You go back through that loop. It's called polymer knot. It's very simple. It's one of the top knots in bass fishing, or in fishing in general. So you're going to have a double over. You go through once, you go back through. So you have this loop down this end. You'll see, loop. And you're doubled over knot, line over this side. What you're going to do is you're going to do an overhand knot, okay? Just an overhand knot, put it over like that, bring that with your finger, bring that loop through, okay? And I'll put my finger right there. You can tighten it down, but I try to do this. Then I'm going to take with my other two fingers right here, this loop, I'm going to go back through the bait, and then you can tighten it down. That's all there is to it. So it's double it over, overhand knot, go with the loop, go through the lure and then tighten them down by grabbing both and tighten down and you're good to go. Just like that. That's the thing. There's a lot of different knots out there and you guys can go as detailed uh, as you want and you can go as, as simple as you want. But that one right there, I learned when I was probably your age, around your age and for me, that's the best knot day in and day out whether I'm using a spinner rod, I'm using bait casters, um, no matter what it is, it's what I try to do. Now let me see what you